Today, I'm going to take you through some of our uses for stinging nettle as quite a significant medicine in our household for various different things. This is a old timer plant from North America, Europe, Asia, North Africa. Uh, so yeah, it has uh, a wide range and circulation. It is a newcomer in Australia. This uh, is urtica, the stinging nettle, and it loves a neutral soil. So it comes up in cultivated soils. When we first came here 15 years ago, uh, our soils were clay compacted, um, very uncultivated. So we had no stinging nettle, but the more we worked our soils, stinging nettle found its way to our garden as a kind of reward, I think. Mm. But what's interesting is that with my years as a builder and my years as a gardener, I get a little bit of arthritis in my hands. And so the way I use this plant mostly is for that. So there is this sort of closed loop. There is the working of the labor in order to make the soils cultivated enough for stinging nettle to come in. And then there is the payback or the feedback for such labor, which is a little bit of arthritis. So as a builder and as a gardener and as a farmer and a forager, I, um, I have hands that sometimes ache. And so my simple go-to is to brush my hands through the back of my hands. And if I've got sore shoulders, I'll also flagellate my shoulders and arms where I feel um, I need to get my blood going. Now, stinging nettle is a blood purifier, but it also, Susan S. Weed, uh, the, the herbalist, gave Meg and I this wonderful knowledge um, in one of her podcasts. It acts as a crude form of acupuncture. And so what I'm feeling now is this sensation of little stings or burns because the needle-like hairs are, are called trichomes and they are the things that uh, break off when they touch skin and they break off in inside the skin and activate the blood and help purify the blood. Now you can take this internally um, by making a tea. So what often we do is make a, a pesto with all the leaves but we blanch them first and in that blanching, it dissolves all the trichomes. And we also uh, steep the, the leaves and the stems uh, to make a tea. So steep for at least 20 minutes, even leave to go cold. It is uh, a plant that is high in iron, manganese, calcium, potassium, uh, and vitamins A and C. So it's a, a beautiful medicine food. Um, but yes, I think the arthritic aspect of it has really helped my, I don't have chronic arthritis and sometimes I just do it for prevention. So when I see the stinging nettle come up in the garden, I'll just rub my hands through it. There is that ancient poem that uh, talks about Doc being the salve to stinging nettle. So if you, you touch yourself or a child runs through a, a patch of stinging nettle um, to use the Doc to rub um, to a null, um, probably to spread out those little um, stings, um, but it has an, an immediate effect. Uh, this hand is still lightly stinging and this one has pretty much stopped. How we, when nettles had a stung, our little hands when we were young, did rub them with a dock and sing, out nettle, in dock, in dock, out sting. The tea is also used as an anti-allergy tonic. Uh, so it's a, it's a wonderful thing to have in your garden, but get your soils into a more neutral state with composting and with um, aeration and with biomass in your soils and double digging and all the sorts of things and the layering and the chop and drop food forestry that we do. Our soils have become less and less acidic and therefore stingy nettle has come to visit and stay in our garden. So we also catch uh, the seeds in paper bags. So we uh, cut when the, the, the seed heads are forming, we cut the tips off, turn them upside down into a paper bag and dry them in a dark place. 
Uh, we also just dry the, 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 the leaves and stems for tea making in later time so we can have a shelf stable uh, dry tea. To go back to the pesto, uh, it's a really good source of fiber. So the other thing about the other type of fiber it's really good for is for making cordage. And um, yeah, we, we are big cord makers in our household. We even make cord uh, fishing line uh, out of flax. But stinging nettle is another good uh, fiber for making string baskets or cordage or netting or things like that. If you've got more uses, uh, you can inform us and our online community uh, for stinging nettle, please let us know in the comments and we hope wherever you are you're having a great day and you've got lots of spring in your step and lots of sting where it's needed. <laughs>